Henry Brock with our extended newscast. Uh, Henry? The story of a storm. I'm Henry Brock. We've been in contact with an awful lot of people since the blizzard began late this morning, and here is their story on tape. We begin with a statement by Bud Zubler of the mayor's office. Mayor McCoskey has been informed that Governor Kerry has asked President Carter to declare Buffalo a major disaster area. This would not mean immediate relief from the storm. However, it would make Buffalo available for federal assistance for cleanup efforts after the storm subsides. The wind continues to whip up a devil's dance with the snow, and we have a report on conditions on the roads of Erie County. Erie County, we're advising no travel whatsoever. It's a very hazardous, extremely hazardous. Visibility is zero, complete zero at times. There must be a thousand abandoned vehicles and a hundred accidents in this county that are unaccounted for. Niagara County is also being clobbered at this time. A sheriff's department spokesman there tells KB News. Very, very treacherous. Uh, everything is all blacked in. We got all our cars stopped. Uh, there's no traffic uh, requested at all. Plowing on all state roads in western New York has been suspended. Jim Weld with the State Department of Transportation. I'd like to advise that we have suspended snow plowing and sanding operations until conditions improve in Chautauqua, Erie, and Niagara counties. Visibility is so poor that the drivers are unable to operate their vehicles safely. Motorists are advised not to travel until the weather moderates. The state will resume operations as soon as possible. And AAA has been buried today. This is Jerry Ryan from the Automobile Club. Uh, right now, as of about an hour ago, we had to pull all trucks off the roads in Erie County, so we are not servicing anyone. We suggest people uh, just stay home. If you do get stranded, give us a call. We can get to you whenever we can get the trucks on the road, but you're going to have to find a warm place to stay. And in City Hall. And now, we have that tape on where you can go to get shelter. Various community centers will be open for any stranded motorists or anybody who is out, any facilities in their home. The various centers are Carmichael Community Center on South Park in Luddy, Hennepin Community Center on Bailey in Ludington, Delavan Moselle Community Center on Delavan Avenue, Neighborhood House 1 on Clinton in Gorski, Neighborhood House 3 on South Park in Tift, JFK Community Center on Hickory Street. City Hall was closed early this afternoon, and many workers and citizens decided to ride out the storm there. We talked to his honor, Mayor Stanley Mikowski. The statement on the state of the city today, it's, it's, it's really a, a bad situation. And uh, I just spoke with Commissioner Lindner, and although we have uh, the Department of Transportation, uh, the State Department of Transportation equipment here and the manpower, uh, we cannot fully utilize them because of the poor visibility, number one. And secondly, many, many of our streets are jammed with vehicles. And until we can get this kind of cooperation from our citizens, I know it's difficult uh, not to go out on our streets. We will not be able to fully utilize the equipment that came here from either the National Guard or the uh, uh, Department of Transportation. Like the rest of the area, the city of Lackawanna is buried under a mantle of white. Here is Mayor Kuwick of the Steel City. Okay, this is Mayor Kuwick calling from the city of Lackawanna. I've been informed by our traffic director, Captain Violani, that uh, the following streets in the city of Lackawanna are closed. Martin Road, South Park, Hamburg Turnpike. Abbott Road is moving very, very slowly, and what we would like to do is urge the people to stay off the streets and just stay in the home. Streets in the city are closed. I also like to add to that, that in case there is a motorist that is stranded, we advise him to go to the nearest home and call the Lackawanna Police Department, and we'll send someone to pick them up and take them to a place to stay for the night. To the south of our city, the situation is bad and getting worse. Town of Hamburg Police Chief Robert Williams told KB News... Plus, no travel. No travel in the town of Hamburg due to the emergency situation. Visibility is zero. Vehicles are becoming involved with our emergency vehicles attempting to get through. And the community at the present time is marooned. 
Police Chief Warren Keller of West Seneca phoned in to tell us that his town is under a state of snow emergency. Everything, every, all motors are advised to stay out of West Seneca, not to use, try to use any of the highways because the highways are all closed down and visibility is zero and we're, we're at a standstill right at this moment. We can't move. Another snow emergency comes from the town of Amherst. Here is Supervisor Jack Sharp. Uh, we've declared a state of snow emergency in Amherst because of poor visibility. Our roads are open, but the visibility is absolutely zero, zero out here. We have had many accidents on many streets, so we're asking everybody to stay off the roads and to stay home and no unnecessary travel in the town until further notice. Uh, this is a snow emergency, and uh, we just have no visibility. Uh, we cannot possibly handle the situation until this wind lets up and the visibility improves. Down deep in the traditional snow belt to the south of the city sits the town of Evans. The white blindness hit there early, and Supervisor Catalano made this appeal. All right, the town of Evans, the town of Brant, the village of Angola are in a state of emergency. We have a total whiteout. We want no travel and only emergency phone calls. The story was the same from Eden. According to uh, the orders of uh, town supervisor William Beasley, the town is in a state of snow emergency. Crews from our major utilities are out in the blizzard doing a job trying to restore power. Here is what Niagara Mohawk is doing. Niagara Mohawk has about 5,000 customers in the western New York uh, service area without service at this time. Buffalo in the suburbs is experiencing trouble, as well as the Batavia, Oakfield, Hamlin, and the southern section of the town of Cambria in the Niagara area. In addition, we have about a couple hundred customers out in Angola. Niagara Mohawk urges customers only with power outages to call Niagara Mohawk at this time. We have all crews working, but they are experiencing extreme difficulty in getting to all the job sites at this time. Things are tough at New York State Gas and Electric 2. Here is a message for the area they serve. Well, we'll be getting that message to you in just a minute. But right now, New York Telephone Company has something to say. New York Telephone Company urges those people whose calls are of a strictly social nature to stay off the line so the calls of a medical nature and emergencies can get through. If you must make a call, we ask that you keep it as short as possible. If you do not get dial tone immediately after picking up the receiver, please stay on the line. Do not hang up. You will probably get dial tone after several seconds. And you certainly stand a better chance of getting dial tone than if you hang up and start all over again on a new call. Again, the phone company is urging all callers to postpone conversations. They're not of an urgent nature so that emergency calls can get through. New York State Electric and Gas is appealing to all its commercial and public natural gas customers in eastern Niagara County and Orleans County to further curtail their use of natural gas immediately and or to close as soon as possible. Gas usage through Tuesday must be reduced a minimum of 50% by commercial customers due to the loss of one of the supplementary supplies that New York State Electric and Gas was able to contract for last week. Industrial customers have already been curtailed through Tuesday. Residential customers are being asked to make hard, I'm sorry, residential customers are being asked to make hard conservation efforts by setting their thermostats at 65 degrees during the day and 55 degrees at night. Cooperation by all classes of customers is imperative at this time. With the temperatures plunging below zero and the winds the way they are, you are in constant danger of frostbite if you go outside. If you do feel the bite of the cold, here is what you can do. Uh, in the case of severe frostbite, uh, there is a large blister appearing on the surface. And uh, in the case of a blister, they are not to be broken. And uh, the entire thickness of the skin, uh, the, the freezing is much deeper. The tissue destruction will be severe, and they should get in touch with the doctor. The more um, uh, common form of frostbite, which will affect more people, will be a frost appearance on the skin in either a white coloration or possibly uh, yellow. In this case, they have found recently that it is not uh, recommended that victims of frostbite uh, rub in any way the frostbitten area because that can cause tissue damage. The better thing to do in this case is to warm it rapidly in running or circulating water at only room temperature, never hot. And uh, 
If that isn't possible, then they should put the frostbitten area near a warm part of their body. And uh, as I said, if blisters appear, this is a severe form of frostbite, and they should get in touch with the doctor. If that's not possible, uh, cleanse the affected area with water and either soap or a mild detergent. Rinse thoroughly and blot it dry with sterile or clean towels. Do not break the, the blisters. If fingers and toes are involved, separate them with dry, sterile gauze. Uh, do not apply other dressings and wait for medical aid. If uh, Apparently the ambulance services are running uh, better in the suburbs than they are in the city. And they should take care of this. Now if it's an overall body thing, if somebody has been trapped in a stalled car or something like that, the finest thing they can do is uh, be immersed in warm water in a bathtub only. They should not... Uh, have any contact with sheets or anything else until they can get the hold of an ambulance. There are about a thousand people marooned at this time at the Marine Midland Center at Maine and Seneca. They are mostly employees and they will spend the night there. Don't worry, they have enough supplies for three days. Here are some additions to uh, shelters. Protestant Home for Children at Niagara and Jersey is open for emergency shelter. Frederick Douglass Towers on Clinton between Jefferson and Spring is opening its community room for emergency shelter. And one more story, this one coming from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Governor Milton Schaap has activated the Pennsylvania National Guard to help out in that state snow and energy emergency. Schaap today issued a proclamation ordering the National Guard to provide assistance where needed. KB AccuWeather after this. Skiers save up to 40% at the Port of Sports. They're still receiving late arrivals of major manufacturer ski equipment that must be sold. So the Port of Sports is having a special two-day only mid-season sale, tomorrow and Sunday only. Get famous name two-piece color-coordinated ski suits, stretch pants by Edelweiss with sweaters to match, T-necks, gloves, bib warm-ups and hats all at bargain prices. 100% down parkas and vests by Picanta, Pacific Trails, Carvel, Jones and Black Bear at savings of up to 40%. For two Two days only, you can get Rossignol ST comps and ROC comps marked down to just $164.95 or K2-244s and shorts now only $139.95. Other bargains on Rossignol, K2, Olin, Head, Hart, and Fisher skis. Boots by Hanson, Nordica, Humanic, Scott, Lang, and San Marco at savings of 20 to 50 percent. Accessories are available at Super Savings too. On Harlem Road between Maine and Kensington in Snyder, the Port of Sports for two days only. Tomorrow from 10 to 6, Sunday from 10 to the Port of Sports. On Elmwood near Hurtle and at 1021 Broadway, there are a couple of old factory warehouses. Now, they're not much to look at, inside or out. But if you want to buy fine furniture at fantastic savings, that's where you want to be. Where? FWS, of course. Right now, the FWS Fire Sale offers savings of 20, 60, 70 percent on brand name furniture. Brand names you just won't believe. Thomasville, Simmons, Lazy Boy, and dozens of others. Quality furniture at fantastic savings. Because FWS bought out every single piece of furniture from an Indiana store. A fire in Muncie. Emergency. And this is all in capital letters. Emergency travel only. Now from KB News, here's Henry Brock. Here's a road report for our eight western New York counties. All Erie County roads are heavily drifted and impassable. Niagara County reports the entire county has been declared in a state of snow emergency. All roads are closed to vehicular traffic except for emergency vehicles. New York State I-90 has two-foot drifts and disabled vehicles. Orleans County, all roads are blocked due to blowing and drifting snow. Genesee County, entirely in a state of emergency. All roads are impassable. Wyoming County, all roads are closed. The entire county is closed. Chautauqua County, all roads impassable due to disabled vehicles and blowing and drifting snow. Allegheny County, all roads are open. Hazardous driving conditions now exist. No unnecessary travel is advised. Cattaraugus County, zero visibility. Some roads are partially blocked due to blowing and drifting snow. And Route 17, that's the Southern Tier Expressway, open, zero visibility, caution, no travel is advised throughout this region, John. Okay, Henry, thank you very much. More cancellations as we get them.